Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm doing um, Happy Land Studio fragrances, and these are all thanks to brother, my dear brother Anav Tamid Bhai. He is a fellow YouTube reviewer from Bangladesh. He's from uh, Bangladesh, but he lives in UK most of the time, and he was generous enough to send me hearty samples of official samples of uh, Happy Land Studios, such as this ones, and I got about eight fragrances. I covered previously, like say a month or a couple of months back, covered four of them. Today I'm covering the rest of the four. So one episode is done, last two remain. So these two fragrances are really lovely. Uh, these two are gonna get really good marks and I'm gonna go one by one, they're pre-sprayed on the paper and I really pray the owner EJ Wells, it's better now, I heard that he was unwell. I pray him speedy and quick recovery, okay? A wonderful man, I think he's a musician, at the same time he owns this niche or indie house sort of, okay? So Happy Land Studios, the fragrances come in, I think 50 ml bottles for $30 or so, I'm not quite sure if they're bigger bottle sizes, but if they do, uh, the prices are always reasonable and performance on most part are great. So these fragrances are not available in Bangladesh, so it's pleasure that some people would actually watch it, may pre-order it, and some people get to taste this fragrance because they're really good. If you do like uh, Dua or Alexandria, this is subpar with them or maybe uh, better, okay? So uh, I'll start with, I think, which one I'm gonna start with? I'm gonna start with this one. I think it's called Rhyolite, okay? This is the official sample and this is a lot of juice left still, it's about 5 ml left. So Rhyolite, very interesting name, sounds like Rhino, you know, Rhyolite, you know, cool name. I don't know what that means by the way, but it's a very yummy fragrance, it's very sort of like gourmand. Um, it, it's hard to describe, there's oud in this, I, I, I get kind of oud and also get kind of like a plum, some fruits, I don't know, plum. Whatever, there's some sort of fruits in there, but this fragrance is very similar to one fragrance. I'll just make it simple, easy for you to understand. If you did watch my review on this one, uh, Rag Baud Intense by Latapa, okay? This is very similar to that one, all right? When I smell them side by side, okay? Yep, very, very close. I'm not gonna say like this one clone this one or this one clone that one, but this some, I think I saw one reviewer, perhaps uh, Josh, Real Josh TV. He said this is similar to Bond number nine, uh, the plum based fragrance was the plum based fragrance with the artist's uh, face on with the on the bottle. Very hard to find nowadays. Uh, Bond number nine, um, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? So uh, that fragrance very popular, but I think this is very close to Ragba Odin. It's basically very yummy, gourmand like. It's like chocolatey, gourmand like, a little bit oud, very smooth, very wearable, very sweet, uh, and it's big small cold weather scent but you can also wear it like cooler summer nights I guess so Rhyolite is a good one here okay if you like Rugbo Intense you can definitely give it a try so mild differences not much of differences it has a lot more sweetness it has sort of like a gourmand feel to it like if you get Perfect Tobacco by ST Dupont also similar vibes so it's in that Kalimat Black, Rugbo Intense, ST Dupont Perfect Tobacco if you love those this is a gourmand sweet uh, lovely winter night fragrance that is definitely unisex. This one I'm giving 9 out of 10. I love this perfume. Okay, so yeah, moving on to the second one, and this is gonna be the I think my most favorite today. It's I think Paisley Sky P A I S L Y. I don't know if it's a song name or something. A very nice pink color. I think the bottle is a little bit different than the rest of them. And there's a hippie or someone like a rocker with uh, sunglasses on, and I think I I'm bothered. Wait. What's bond number nine? Hold on, I have to remember the name. Yeah, typically whenever I pause something, then it comes to me. I did not even look, didn't have to look, I remember. Uh, I think uh, bond number nine, Andy Warhol. If you like that fragrance, I think Real Josh TV compared this one, uh, Rhyolite with that one. But I haven't smelled it. I smell also uh, something like Roca's Man, but that is similar to, I don't know, bond number nine, New Harlem or something like that. But uh, uh, it's it's a more similar to to my nose is rug bow intense okay so i just cleared it out so paisley sky i think it's i hope i say it right it's really lovely it's really lovely this is one of the better ones for sure this has a uh, oud okay but this is not oud dominant you think like agar oud dark nope this fragrance is more about sweetness it has kind of like a saffrony vibe and the saffron reminds me sort of like baccarat rouge okay i'm not calling it this baccarat rouge clone but it's definitely you can get this hand I'm wearing uh, bond number nine I love New York fall it's really milky and strong so it's influencing my this smell together so I'm gonna smell it from this side okay yeah I can smell it now 
it's uh, not so strong like uh, Baccarat Rouge or uh, Instant Crush by Mancera, but definitely you can smell the presence of it. It's light, it's airy, and it's kind of like uh, sugary, okay? And I heard someone com uh, compare this with Diplomatic, in Incident Diplomatic, okay, Jovoy Paris fragrances. You can kind of see that. So there's sort of like a mating going on by uh, Incident Diplomatic and uh, yes, and then Baccarat Rouge sort of, but not cloning anything in particular, okay? Very sexy fragrance, I can tell you. This is, uh, let's say you are going with a big limo, okay? <laughs> Let me try to describe it. You get one of those big ass limos, you know, it has like 16, 20 wheels, all right? And it's like a Hummer, big, long one, you know? Uh, the ones maybe Ted and, you know, like a whole crew of uh, How I Met Your Mother, they took like New Year's Eve trip. Yeah, imagine that there's some party going on, and there's some cocktails, there's some nice ladies, and there's some escorts. So it's a fun time party, you know, people are like happy. And you smell this on one of the escorts or one of the ladies, and you start making out, okay? I can smell this, it's like so flirtatious, it's kind of like a woody, uh, saffrony, uh, sweet, sugary. At the same time, something's fresh about it. I think there's uh, something fresh in this, it's like a citrusy opening, it's a little bit of lavender, and then I think there's a uh, heliotrope florals, okay? So it's not too powdery, it's very sexy. So one of the happy fragrances, definitely Happyland Studio. I really like this fragrance, I'm giving this perfect 10 out of 10. I love Baccarat Rouge, but I have some week for that one, okay? so. Let me spray this once again just for the opening top note. Very good spray on this one. Yeah, definitely. It's it's a fragrance built to love. It has a little bit of raisiness, kind of like, you know, you take this grape raisins. I don't know what you call that. We call it kismis, you know. So that smell is in there. Oh, again, damn that bond number nine is strong. I'm talking about this one, by the way. I think it's called bond number nine. Uh, I love New York for all, the black one. Milky, strong, bakery smell. So yeah, this one is lovely, the citrus, bergamot, uh, kind of like a raisinous, oud, saffron, uh, sugary thing going on with a little bit of, yeah, just so nice. The saffron is so, so sexy. So this is a unisex perfume. It's a 10 out of 10, okay? So definitely try Paisley Sky. I really love this one. So I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, but I'm finished finally. Thanks, uh, Tamid Bhai, for your generous sample. And I got to experience it, review it. It was an honor, right? Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll update you soon with my... Uh, new page in uh, Facebook. Take care. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.